What's good, everybody, and welcome to Moments with the Mobleys. I am your man, Johnny Mobley Jr. And I'm his wife, Tidra. And we something like an ordinary couple. With extraordinary purpose. Ooh. You all right? You need me to clean them for you? Try to do something. I was about to say, baby, where are our mugs? But I forgot they up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This shouldn't, this shouldn't hurt my glasses, right? No, it's Kleenex. I think it should be soft enough. Yeah. It says softer than a baby bottom. Out the box, say it don't say that. But I don't know why I said that. I think it does. Greetings, salutations, accolades, and blessings. Greetings, salutations, accolades, and blessings. Can't say it after I say it. Hey, patrons. Hey, mom stars. Can't say it after. Hey, guys. You can't say it after I say it. I gave you ample time to say it. I can. And because you ain't said it, it's mine now. Well, I was trying to be concerned about my husband. I give you a pass. You give me that. I just wash my hands and my and they gonna be real ashy. And just, mm-hmm. My skin has been being real dry, like right here. You see, I gotta get me some moisturizer. But use that um that cocoa butter. I got up. I've been using that. Make me sweat though, and then I started using the. That's what it, it, it holds you. Gel. It holds it holds you in, and then it release. See how my hand you got something for everything, right? It release like that. I don't need it to release, and then I'm yeah, here sweating. But it releases as you need it to keep you not ashy. Keep me moist. Yeah. Oh. That's what you want, right? I want to stay glistening, glittering. I don't know what glittering is. <laughs> glistening. So listen, we just we just coming on here. Hey tonight. y'all, we hope y'all had a good Christmas. We really do. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And, and by the and time y'all see this, it'll be New Year's Eve. Yeah, so it'll be New Year's Eve. So we'll say Merry Christmas and New Year's Eve. We're going to talk a little bit about... <sighs> y'all know I can't. You I'm, need help, honey? I don't think I'm all right. I was, well, which, why you blow it? What that Because it'd be lint from the oh, thing. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, I can see everything. I don't like that. It's just be a lot. <sighs> So we hope y'all had a very Merry Christmas. Um, We're going to do a quick recap. This ain't going to be long. We're going to do a quick recap of what we did. So Saturday, Friday. You ain't backed up enough. Thursday. No. Wednesday? No. The beginning of, um, well, I guess Sunday starts a new week, so... The 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 week before Christmas. Oh, well, you got to tell that because I don't remember. You don't remember? What all happened? Well, you're going to get slapped if you don't remember. Hold up. Refresh my mind. Oh, my God. Y'all, we had a Christmas baby. The Christmas baby, <laughs> Prince Amar. My bad. You are going to get beat if I, you see this. I was, I was tired. <laughs> we stayed up for like 18, 20 hours. Let me tell you something, boy. Oh. Y'all women oh. are the truth. We the truth. We the bombs.com. My baby girl, that girl pushed for a strong 45 minutes. Uh. I'm telling you, if I was on that bed. It was about 35. If I was on that bed, I'd have said, "Yeah, y'all gonna have to wait till in the morning. Let me get me a nap." In. What? That's not what she could have done, sir. That's why that I would have even did. an option. I need a nap. Yeah, because all this push, ten, breathe, relax. Okay, push again. What? Take a deep breath and come on back in. And then ten. Okay, rest, rest. Push again. What? My baby girl look at me, she said, I'm so tired. And you know how you want to be the daddy and be like, I wish I could do it for you. It ain't even crossed my mind. As he was doing the videotaping. Because I was doing the camcorder. Because daddy, daddy was handling his business. He was yeah. in the front, the front and the back. I was like, boy, you better do your thing. Well, where was I? You was at her side. On the other side, and then he was no. Me and him was on the same side. 
No, it wasn't. Yes, we were. Who was on the other side? The nurses. Oh. The doctor was at the bottom. I was so tired, y'all. I ain't remember. <laughs> I shouldn't have even been tired. I shouldn't have been tight, but I was. We were, because we, we got up that Monday, and we did, ne- we did not expect to get that call, but we did. And so we were at the hospital uh, maybe like an hour later, and mm-hmm. her labor was a good, solid 15 hours. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I don't miss it, y'all. I don't miss it. But the one thing that I am extremely glad about and grateful to God about is that both of us were able to be in there with them. Yeah. Um, it, of course we've experienced the birth of one, you, t- you, I think two of them. I was in there for Tristan. I don't think I was right. there for Todd. Right. I think that's what doing the you COVID were, thing. You were, no, you were at home with Todd. I'm with sorry. Tristan. You were at home with Tristan, and gotcha. then I went to the hospital. All right. Um, and we were there with Aubrey. I was. Where was I? In the waiting room. Oh, that's right. You were right. there. Yeah. So they wouldn't let me in on I that. I don't think that you could be in it. So. Yeah. So I think it was just two of us back there. Okay. You yeah, and Marion. me and Marion. Okay. Um, and then with Rick, we ended up being out of town, and he came. The weekend, the one weekend that we went, we're out on assignment. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so I, I've been there, I think, for one and two and three, and this may four of them, I believe. Yeah. Um, so we were, we just, we're, we're grateful for that, y'all. But um, my girl was a champ, y'all, because yeah. I... And all of my birthings, I've never had to, I think I may have been on my side before like that. Well, no, not with the, that ball. Um, that was something. Yeah. And I've never been on like all fours. I, that I, was, I didn't even know that was. I didn't even know that they do that. But, out, but outside the do. bedroom. I didn't even knew that was a thing. You know what? You're crazy. You know, if you on all fours you're in the crazy. bedroom, then that, that you know. You are absolutely. And she crazy. was like, "I need you to get on all fours." Yeah, and but, I was like, "For um, what?" They and then she had to sit there for thirty minutes. So I put my time on. Daddy, I said, "My baby." Daddy and granddaddy was the timer was on. Well, however long they said she was, they was gonna keep her in that position. Daddy and granddaddy had daddy had the time the the time of going. Granddaddy had the time of going on another one, and so. um I was just sitting there and, you know, um, just, you know, I knew she she had to go through it because I think she was determined to have, um, she didn't want a C-section, I don't think. And so that's not something that you, you know, that I had to have one with the twins, but all the other ones were um, vaginal births. But she was able to. After the twins, you had to have Johnisha. I had Johnisha as a vaginal birth. Oh yeah, the I twins, thought once you have a C section, you can't go. Well, back. that's what people normally say, and that's what normally happens. But I haven't had a vaginal birth. Girl, for Janisha, but what you went from C section to vaginal. Boy, boy. The, only, the only reason I had the twin C section is because remember, Bridget. one of them yeah was coming breach. Yeah, so they had to do an emergency C section. But um, my girl did good. Yeah, she was a straight trooper, and she you know looked a couple times. She was like, yeah. I know you are, sis, but come on. Breathe and take this deep breath and come on back up. Um, and so for us, so we literally was up Monday. We went to work. Well, we was at work maybe a couple hours. Um, and then... Left before lunch. Left. We left mid-morning. Um, and so... And we uh, was there until Tuesday, Tuesday morning. morning. She I think had him we- at 2.26. I think we got home about four thirty, five o'clock ish. Yeah, we, we about four thirty. We was in the bed five, and um, I should have got. I should have done what Johnny did. Just took took the day off, but I was like, no, I just need to get a couple hours of sleep. I'll be good. Not even registering to me that I had been up for fifteen plus hours. You you did take two though. No, I didn't. I sl- we slept. We got home. We got into bed oh, at five o'clock in the morning. Work. I got up at eleven and work, and then worked at twelve. Yeah, the devil is And was lying. delirious, y'all. I'm just thinking, you know, 
I wasn't thinking, I guess, but um, and then Wednesday we were both work remote from the hospital. Yeah. Um, to try to give them some relief so they could get some rest with baby, but they still had a few procedures going on for yeah. him. So, y'all, it's an exciting time. So this is number two of the three that are literally what six months apart. Yeah. Three and three and three, maybe for the for the next one we'll see. Well, maybe not three. So nice. We got eight of them. <sighs> number nine is on the way. So. So prayerfully, what I told Johnny, she's doing in uh, at the beginning of February, and I said, wouldn't it be a, a special time if if uh, he came on your birthday, which is January twenty second? Yeah. So we are once again on baby watch. Um, so yeah. So after after number nine come, then you know we gonna be back on on the trail getting it, but we got to be in town right now. Yeah, make sure because we we them we them parents and grandparents. Yeah, we go be there for everything. Yeah, or at least try. Yeah, and so one of the things that um, when we were leaving the hospital, we stayed. Excuse me, till about four, a little after. Yeah, just to make sure that they got them settled, her settled, and everything, and the baby was good and all that stuff, and so. Um, one thing that they have changed, of course, since my time is that they, when they take the baby out, they immediately, um, my son and I cut the umbilical cord. They were immediately able to do skin to skin with the mommy. And so that's one thing that's, that was, you know, that's like real special. Um, and so we made sure they got straight and we came on home. But um, just like I said, the one thing that, you know, we were, Walking out of the room down the hall to go out, and the, the nurses had to buzz us out. But before we got to go out, um, a couple of the nurses who were in there, um, the doctor, it wasn't her particular doctor uh, because he was off the, the, the doctor that was on call. Um, she was amazing. The nurses were, um, and just everybody in the room um, was a supportive. And um, so when we were walking out, <laughs> kind of delirious. Just walking down the hall to go out so we could go get on the elevator. Um, you know, one of the nurses said to us, she was like, you know, they was like, congratulations. And they was like, y'all, y'all are some supportive parents. That is just beautiful. That is just beautiful. Um, but that's how we do y'all. We, you know, we want to be there for the moments in our children's lives that matter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And this is a moment that mattered. You know, all of, I think all of when we just show up for each other. And it's not just, um, and it started a long time ago um, by going to simple um, recitals or um, football games, you know, dance stuff. And, you know, whatever it is, we just make sure that we're there Cause, because we want to, um, time can fly by so quickly and so you want to remember the, that the moments matter than the things. The things are nice and all that stuff. But for us, we knew a long time ago that the moments mattered. And those, how, those are, how, are how the memories are made. And so, you know, I told Johnny, I think it may have been on the way coming home or it may have been when we the next day or something. It was at some point in time. Um that this is this is our wealthy place, our family, and the relationship that we have with them and the bond that we have, um, this is what I cherish most. This is what we cherish most. And so to be able to be in there at that time, I did real good, y'all. Even though, you know, my girl was, you know, stressing that she was tired and stuff or whatever, I did not cry. Right? I did good. I go back and look at the video. Whatever. I didn't cry until the end when I finally sat down in the chair. There was just a few happy tears. Mm -hmm. A few happy tears. And my son in love, he just looked like a, a proud daddy. Yeah. He just couldn't couldn't keep that mouth shut. It was just smiling <laughs> for no reason. I had to call a full yeah. time before they he turned good. around. But that, yeah. Yeah, they did very, very good. Great experience. Yeah. We here for it all. Absolutely. Here for it all. Um, and so that was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And so Thursday. Um, Thursday was our Friday. 
And then, um, so we... No, not, not for me. Friday was my Oh, Friday. you did have to work. My apologies. So Thursday was my Friday, y'all, right? And so months leading up to uh, Christmas, we we do our family stuff on New Year, on Christmas Eve, but one of our daughters was going out of town with um, her in-loves. And so we backed it up and did it on Christmas Eve Eve, which was Friday. So Thursday, when I got off, um, before I got off, I was ordering the groceries because the girl said, well, first of all, let's back up. We decide on the theme every year. The first thing we decided on, and some of them will probably will can argue and try to argue with me, but we decided on hibachi. That was the first thing. That's what I heard. That's what you heard. So I had all these plans to, at first I was going to go and find you like, you know, one of those, um, uh, one of those grills with the flat Black surface stone. on it. But you have a, a flat surface it. on one of your grills. Yeah, on the quiz. Right. Night. So maybe a couple weeks before, um, you know, trying to figure that out, how we going to maneuver that just to make sure that we can get everything done and don't have to just try to do it on the stove. Right. So then we have our family FaceTime, um, and they said they don't want hibachi. Well, some of them said it. And I was like, what do you mean? You What what, what are we talking about? We decided on hibachi a long time ago. Then I think somebody said we're supposed to have pasta. Pasta. We ended the call that night. This was maybe like a couple weeks before Christmas. We ended the call that night. Okay, I, I said, oh, I'm fine. Y'all change it, whatever. It was decided that everybody was going to bring a pasta dish. Mm. Like baked ziti. Um, I think somebody was gonna do like a chicken, broccoli, and cheddar pasta. Somebody was doing a, um, um, like a um, some other kind of pastas. Um, they were saying that they were gonna bring, you know, they concoction or whatever. And then and they, they decided we were gonna have we were gonna have uh, cob salads, and we were gonna have um, what do you call the other one? Caesar salad. And then we were going to do rolls and then a couple of desserts. Tea and lemonade. Call it a day. Everybody said what type of pasta they was going to be making. We were good. So let me tell you how they bamboozle me. Right. They call me and then have everybody get on and have a meeting with me. Uh, <laughs> now, mind you, I wasn't a part of this meeting. Yeah. It was not a planned meeting. So it was like, so, Daddy, we want to ask you. So we supposed to be doing pasta. I said, Pasta? I thought we was doing the, the hibachi thing. Uh, right. No, no, we ain't doing that no more. I said, okay, so now it's pasta. It was, but we don't want pasta. You want pasta? I said, I mean, but see, this is the thing. They already know. What I mean, I'm good with whatever y'all want to do. Cool. So this is what we want to do. We want to do all American Christmas. i like, all right, so what? Hamburgers, turkey burgers. Okay, cool. Get with Deidre. I say, hey, baby, they done changed the the menu. They say they want to do the the All American. Right. She said, what? And then she, I think you called the meeting after that, isn't it? Yes. And she said some choice words. She was like, y'all said it was gonna be pasta. Now y'all want to change it to All American. They were like, yeah. I so. don't care at this point. I don't care what y'all do. But they blamed it on you. They said, well, our daddy don't want that. I said, oh, so you want to said, tell me I that said, you was in cahoots with your daughters? I said, I was all right with <laughs> no. whatever. No. I was good with whatever. No. But you know, in the beginning, you fed me all that spaghetti. You had spaghetti, <laughs> sir. It was the best thing that I knew how to cook. And it, you stretched it. Get over it. Because it was a and lot of. Because I'm going to make something this weekend. Woo! That spaghetti was it was it was tearing me up. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner with turkey meat, and I'm gonna put some uh, onions and peppers and meatballs and some smoked sausage in it and some. I I, some I eat. I probably eat one one and plate. Y'all, he'll eat maybe like a little bit, but as far as leftovers or another day, not having it. Anyway, what wound up happening on Friday was our our party wasn't until. It's supposed to be six thirty, so we didn't get there at about seven thirty. Um, I was supposed to grill, but time was winding down, and Queen said, "You, you want me to just go ahead and cook? Yeah, baby, just go ahead and knock it out. I ain't gonna be able to grill. I got to finish this stuff up." So she wound up cooking everything. So usually they be talking trash about us being late, 
but they ain't had nothing because we pretty much bringing all the food. You want me to tell them what everything was? You can. Turkey burgers from scratch. Uh, hamburgers from scratch. I boiled the Roger with sausages, the hot dogs. I made the beans, you know, added a little turkey and peppers and onions and all that stuff to the beans. And um, I made two strawberry cheese pies. And I think that was it. Yeah, then Bridget made the chili. Right, once we got there. Because so, I had stuff. But she she wasn't expecting to do all that. So and anyway, all. she wound up doing all that. We took it over there. We had a, a ball. We didn't have our song ready this year. We it just time just got away from us. So um Bridget did perform. Bridget and Brittany, they had their song together. Bridget and Sean and Brittany and Travis. And Travis, and the Travis kids did good on this. Travis tried to talk a little trash. <laughs> I was like, so <laughs> next show year. Y'all done. Oh yeah, we're gonna show y'all how it's done. Show so it was it was fun. It's always fun. But next year, I get my wife. I'm a stretcher because we gonna be doing the choreo- choreograph chore- choreography. You choreography. Right? We gonna be doing a whole nine with dance and everything. We be dancing a light. Do you show like that? Do it with me. Okay. Boom. But wait. Boom. You didn't tell me what side first. Which this, side we start with? Left side up okay. first. All right. Ready? Uh-huh. Go. Boom. 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 How that look, James? That was nice. That was nice. <laughs> You saw it. <laughs> you can go with anything. You just that's go my boy. Anything. That's my boy. He gonna talk about. God. Yeah, whatever. That's funny. But we did. We did end up doing something. We ended up doing um. Santa Claus is a black no. We did not. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Wish all our grandkids were singing with us. Right. I'm gonna so uh, nice. put a clip out of that. Uh, us doing that because that was real good. Yeah. Too. So, um, but we, uh, we, the kids had a ball. Now let me, I got to go back so y- y'all can get the gist of why I was figured that they bamboozled me. Right. It wasn't just the cooking. It was the mere fact that Thursday before I left work, I, uh, ordered the groceries, right? I don't normally order from walmart.com. Uh, Brittany normally you get free something or whatever. So at one point when Walmart first started delivering, Brittany Got literally got everybody email and was signing up for it so she could order off everybody email. Mm. So I I logged into it with with my email address or whatever she had used it before. So everybody I ordered the groceries. Everybody sent they sent their money to me. They shared the money, you know their monies to me. So I'm so gung ho that we was we uh, got off early that I ordered the groceries off Walmart.com. Hit click went on by you know went on by our Thursday Friday come. Um, I saw the email about six something uh, Friday morning because I got up because I scheduled it to be picked up 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. My goal was to go to, to the, the Walmart right here mm. by, by, by us, pick, you know, get my groceries. But then I had to also had to run in Kroger just to grab a few things um, that Walmart didn't have scheduled, you know, on there or whatever that they didn't have. It wasn't pulling up when I ordered. And then I needed to grab something else from Kroger. So. I was going to do that and then go to Dollar General, Dollar Tree, and then come right back home. It may have taken me an hour max. I look at the email. The email comes in at 6-something. I just see that it says your groceries ready. Mm. So I get in the truck. It's about 10 minutes to 8, y'all. So the Walmart up here from us is, what, maybe maybe 5 to 7 minutes, maybe, if that. Maybe, a little, maybe, maybe about 8 minutes. You be coming up with these. Nah. I know with these random amount of minutes. So listen, y'all. So we um I get in the truck. So I was like, okay, let me look at that what that email said. Y'all, I looked at the email. Let me give y'all a, 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 a tip. When you order off of like Kroger.com, Walmart.com, Target, all these places, make sure that you go to the location and set a location that's near your home. They probably do that. They probably, y'all probably do that. But me, again, I was excited to be getting off two hours earlier. I went into the Walmart app. Brittany has used it before. So if any place Brittany orders from the one in Pooler or she'll order the one close to us, right? Mm. Y'all, it was, it was the one 
In town. 45 minutes away from the house. I was I was so through. I called the store and I was like, um, ma'am, gave her my name, my confirmation number, and told her. Um, I said, I think I did it at the wrong store, ma'am. Can you confirm with my order? She's like, yeah, your order's here. So I, I blurted out the address. She was like, well, I don't know what address, what the address is, but we're across from Target. Mm. Saturday morning, it was cold. It was windy. So the truck was shaking someone on the way there. You know it doesn't take much to rattle me. This was Friday. Sorry, Friday morning. Um, but I did. I took a slow ride, a nice, slow, peaceful ride, and went and got the groceries, came back to, to Rinkin, went to Kroger. I skipped all the tree all the way. I was not, because by the time I got back on this side, everybody and their grandmama was out. Mm-hmm. And I was over it at that point. So that's why that added to the whole me. And to, to be honest, it really didn't like hit me, hit me that I was going to have to cook all that stuff until I got back home with it. And I was like, who about to help me with, who about to help me cook this stuff? Mm. Paige was here, but. Who? Was Paige, Paige and them was here. They got here right before I got back from the store. Yeah. So she was literally had eaten and then went to sleep. Yeah, they had while got she ain't had to work. Yeah, they had gotten up real early to come from from out of town. So, needless to say, that's why I fit. So by the time I got finished, I literally had time to get something to eat, sat down for a few minutes, and then got up and started get trying to get stuff mm-hmm. together because we were supposed to be there at six thirty. We got there by seven thirty. Yeah, but, but you it did was help right. me, and I thank you because you you um you wrapped the gifts and you got everybody gifts together. Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, as Johnny already told y'all the story about us singing, and the kids were satisfied. Um, we had an amazing time, as we always do. And um, I ordered Mr. Mobley. Well, I had an uh, all-in-one. Uh, y'all seen? Y'all seen the video? Y'all seen the video yet? <laughs> I had the all-in-one. I told her I wanted all. a onesie with the feet in it and all. <laughs> she go buy me this Santa Claus. Thing. <laughs> and you put it on, didn't you? You put it on. And it was real cute, y'all. Sometime I got to go and I might next year I'm gonna have to show her what I want. And then she had to get it. Cause I put it to get her. She'd be like, this could be cute. She got her little pajamas and said ho 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 on it. And then she oh, talking about say it now. I said, but I said she got her the pajamas that said ho 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 on it. Oh, okay. You were trying to get me to say it in the video. I wasn't gonna say it. But I had a little, you know, everything on. So the grandkids looked at me. They were like, oh, Bubba, <laughs> you Santa Claus. <laughs> get, get, get up on me. Anyway, so it went over pretty oh, good. Oh, gosh. It and was then, real cute. Then and we, Brianna we, thought it was so hilarious. She could barely take the picture. Yeah. She was like, I have got to take this picture. And but then, he had to match me, you know. It was anyway, we we usually have it. Me. We usually have it at our house because our house is bigger. But because baby girl had a baby and it was literally three, four days yeah. after, we just we moved, the moved it over there. there. Yeah. So they didn't have to leave. Her and the baby didn't have to leave the house. So it was great. I'm I'm always good with just spending time with the family. It it never it never fails. That's that's that brings me. Joy. So when they they come over and want to spend time and all that, I'm good. I'm good. So that was our that's what was our Christmas. So Friday was our Christmas. They opened all their presents. And then Saturday, what did we do Saturday? We kind of slept in a little bit. Just slept in a little bit, got up. Um I cooked yet again. It wasn't a lot. Only thing we wanted some seafood, so we wound up going to get some seafood, and I think that was, that was the only that the was the only thing that was open, I guess, in town because you know that's Christmas Eve, so everything else was closed. No, everything else was not closed. During the, all the everything, ga- everything yeah, else was, was closed about, except the, the the gas stations. It was like four. It was right before four, I think. And we, we went up in there. there, boy, and it was. So it was stuff still open every, because we went by the store. And all. Everybody when they come down south, they want to get seafood because a lot of people up north say the seafood there ain't, that's not good or whatever the case is. So 
and it seemed like everybody from New York, Philly, everybody in there talking, everybody. you could just hear the accent. Everybody, yeah. y'all. But boy, it, <laughs> it was it was bad. They was parking all it over the bad. place. They going in the wrong disres- way. Right, just disrespectfully parking. Like parking when you go in the entrance, they park the, the opposite way. Yeah. Yeah, like on the side. It was or, bad. It was, it was one bad. lady who who van was literally so you you pull in the place and then you park at a slant. And then you're supposed to pull in one way, go out the other way. We we tried to pull in, a lady was parked facing us, so we couldn't even pull in. Yeah. We had to go in through the other side. Y'all, it was the lady was in the middle, in the middle of, of the parking area in a van. Literally with her the, park the, the, straight. The, right. Just parked straight with her front her her front bumper almost <sighs> at the door of the establishment. We ain't said that. But the one thing I can say is it was it was a whole lot of us in there. And, you know, it was some of our Caucasian brothers and sisters, but it was a whole lot of us in there. And I was thinking to myself, boy, these jokers go. But we had one lady. So some people pre-ordered their food. Their food wasn't ready. It it wasn't ready. So it was one lady that was very, very upset. And I think she thought if she just talked real loud, then they're going to know she mean business. So, yeah. But anyway, we got a seafood, came back, watched a movie. No, it, it was an hour later. Anyway, we came back. She was in the car. <laughs> it me was and, a whole hour later. Me and Rob was in there, but you right. was in the car. But we came back, watched, um, started watching Best Man Holiday, didn't we? We did. Started watching Best, Best Man, Man Holiday. Us, it was so good, y'all. We had shrimp. Yeah. We had boiled shrimp, and we got our seasoning and stuff on the side. We had boiled shrimp. We had conch. We had Dungeonese, Dungeonese crab because Johnny loves it. And then um, they had the Paige and Ra, Ra had uh, low country ball and just regular snow crab legs. Yeah. But, baby, when I tell you, it was bussin. Yep. It was bussin. It was good. It was good. So I didn't have to cook Saturday night. So Sunday, we got up, went to church. Um. Got out, came home, and then somebody said they was gonna cook. Who is somebody? I'm gonna cook Sunday. This, be- but she said, she Why was am cook I still cooking Sunday? Because she wasn't expecting to cook on Friday, right? So, but baby, I appreciate you because you came through. So she cooked. She she did it up. She cooked some lamb chops. She cooked some um, salmon. Um, she cooked uh, what it was baked potato, uh-huh. baked potatoes. Um, she had salad. Yeah, it was it was nice. It was nice. That was Sunday. And then she promised. <laughs> They she, been moves on me the whole weekend. She promised y'all. that she was gonna cook these famous red velvet waffles. Well, they were famous now. This is my first time making them. The fa- famous red velvet waffles. She was gonna cook on Monday morning. So, yeah. But we made it through. Usually, we have one day where it's just me and and Queen, and we just chill out. But we ain't had that day. But the day after New Year's Day. That Monday, it's our day. We locking it down. You know, y'all know how y'all just be looking. You be like, okay, so I'm on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, <laughs> and Monday. And I'm just looking forward to, to that one day that I can lay in the bed and watch Lifetime and eat my eat my breakfast in the bed and eat my lunch in the bed and eat my dinner in the bed. Didn't happen. That's all right. Didn't happen. We got you. It was, and we but, have a busy week. Yeah, yeah, but we good. We all are, is well. We are good. So we hope that y'all had a wonderful Christmas. Um, it's not about the gifts, but it's about the gifts of life and your family. So love on your family, love lavishly, like my brother always say. Yeah, and. Just enjoy family, man. Because at one point in time, two, three years ago, we couldn't even be in the same room with each other. 
So now we can. So just love lavishly. Have a oh, great you mean, new he year. He means because of COVID, John. Yeah. Have a great, great, safe New Year's. Um, I'm gonna just leave it like that. You gonna leave it like that? Yeah. Have a great yeah. and safe New Year's. Um, the year's not finished yet, so still expect. Yeah. Expect God to do amazing things yeah. before the end of the year. And when New Year come in, have that momentum where you're moving to push through, get all the way through. It's going to be a great New Year. It's going to be a great year, 2023. Coming off these jobs. You know, I read something today um, off of a website called success.com. And they were just talking about basically, you know, they had this whole breakdown of do, you know, if people believed like in New Year's resolutions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that it was saying that was like, um, of course, it's it's our mindset. It, it literally was was stuff that we of course that we practice, that we are careful about what we speak. Yeah. Um, because, of course, you know, whatever you say is you know you 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 are basically what you say and it was just saying like be cognizant of the words that you speak like because if you say you know i'm sleepy i'm tired and you know what i'm saying yeah. i don't feel good and all these things and then of course you know your body gonna follow right along with what um what's coming out of your mouth and so basically the the the, the site the article was just saying like to be cognizant of the words that you speak and speak positivity and speak affirmations over yourself and over your life and like um, be committed to doing something, not because it's just cliche, mm -hmm. but like be committed to um, writing things down and writing things down and, and people saying that for us that that is true. You know, write the vision, make it plain. My, write the vision and make it plain. Mm -hmm. And so... That's Bible for us. And so basically that's in, 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 uh, without saying it, that's what the article was saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it was saying like, just, um, just be committed to try to do what you say you're going to do. And so as I sat there and I read it and I, you know, I just began to say like, Lord, help us to, um, have the determination and the drive and help us with the things that, um, we may not understand um, by asking the Holy Spirit to help us with it, to accomplish it. Um, like you just said, you know, help us to um, just to be always be good stewards over what we have, mm -hmm. but be intentional about making moves and and being in line with what the Lord wants us to do. And so I just began to sit there and think about that. And I, as I read the article, it, it reminded me a lot of, of things that you would say yes. um, about being intentional with, with what you say and the moves that you're making. And um, it was just saying, you know, of course, don't do it or just say it just because other people are doing it or saying it. But make realistic goals. Still write stuff down. Still make realistic goals and do what you need to do to put in place to try to make them. Um, come to pass. And one thing that I say that we always used to do, I know at the beginning of our marriage, even for the little, per se, little goals, mm -hmm. um, like put those things in place and be intentional about being successful. Um, it's this very intelligent, handsome, sexy man that um, says, you know, go be successful. It's a choice. Um, and so it is a choice. So be intentional about what, what yeah, be intentional about what you're speaking, be intentional about what you're praying, be intentional about what you're, the, the moves that you're making. Um, and for us, that means um, seeking daily counsel from God to see, you know, where, how he wants us to move, where he wants us to move, when he wants us to move, if he wants us to move. Um, we're very intentional about that, very focused and intentional about just being in order, in alignment. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So our our motto for twenty twenty two was and 
for the foreseeable future is going to be now or never. Because yeah. we 50 now. Yeah. So it ain't no either we going to do it or we ain't. So I would suggest, we would suggest that you, even if you're in your 20s or your 30s, yeah, we'll let y'all borrow that. Now or never. Do it. Only thing you can do is learn something from it. Absolutely. That's it. Absolutely. So just do it. Absolutely. Everybody who's living has a entrepreneur, has a business inside of them, has a book inside. You got so much different things inside of you. So just do it. Now or never. That's all I got. Yeah. And I'm out. Can I drop this mic? No, you can't, sir. Okay. You can't. I just, I just don't. You, you know, my thinking is, and like we always say, you, we don't live. We don't want. There's a song by William McDowell says, "I don't want to live a life unpoured." Yeah. And so that simply means like you, the Lord put us, put you here for. So a you reason feel like preaching tonight and a purpose. And so no, I'm just saying, <laughs> like you know, don't. I want I want everything that the Lord put in me that he needs to be to come out in the earth for whoever it needs to be for or whatever. I want all of that to be poured out. Y'all may hear people say, you know, I want to die empty. I don't want to die with purpose. I don't want to take purpose to the grave. Mm-hmm. And so You're looking for an offering, huh? I, always. <laughs> for offering. Yeah. Just just think about it. And I'm, you know, it's it's becoming clearer and clearer, especially for me. And so that's why I say when I was reading that um article today, I began to think of you because a lot of things that I read in it rang true. Like do it. Do it afraid. Do it scared. Do it. Just do it. Because um I was having a conversation with somebody the other day and then we are gonna end it. And I told her, I said, um um, my, the, the, I guess it's not a high level of fear, but my fear is that I won't do it. And then I'll regret not at least trying. Cause you're going to be scared. This is the yeah. thing. You're going to be scared. If you do it, you're going to be scared if you don't do <laughs> right. it. Right. And what I mean by yeah. that is if you don't try it, then your next just won't happen. Won't happen. So yeah. you'll be unsatisfied yeah. you won't be fulfilled you won't be nothing and then you will feel other nothing person that's tied to that next for you that me- you know what I'm yeah. saying that's supposed to meet you at that intersection you're not going to be there to meet them to do what needs yeah. to be done so and if it's so, in you yeah. if he placed it in you he done provided the sort the resources for you so absolutely just do it once you do it Maybe. then the resources will come to you Cause I'm telling you, this year right here, watch, watch what I tell you. Amen. Y'all gonna be seeing so many videos of us. Yeah, what they say, prepare to be sick of us. Yeah, y'all about to be tired yeah. of us. Cause this gonna be our full time job. Prepare to be sick of us. So. But just, just this one last thing. Do what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? She preaching. And a failure means and this was something I read today too, and I promise we going. A fail if preach if mother it's, teach if mother it's a failure which we look at it as a lesson <laughs> if 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 that has if that is what's become become of it that means that you tried something so try it mm. so that spoke to me in volumes today mother and so I just wanted to share that with y'all mm-hmm. amen so prepare to be sick of us sick of amen. us. One more thing. Just one more thing. I promise. That's how, them, promise. that's how them Baptist preachers no, is. No, just one more thing. I promise. One more thing and I'm going to let you y'all go. Know I like, y'all know I love Jay Bolin, right? I love oh. Jay Bolin. The one thing, uh, maybe like last week or week before, he put out um, this candle. The candle is absolutely beautiful. It's in the shape of a, 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 a boat shape or whatever. But And it's a really big candle. And he said the one thing that he did, he failed at that candle before because he put it out for sale and only sold three of them. Like he was excited about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like this is, you know, this candle is gorgeous. I know it's going to sell because he does clothing, but he does home decor as well. Yeah. And of course he designs people's, you know, um, interior of their homes and stuff. But the one thing that he said that hit, that hit me, just hit me dead. 
in the face was he said, I put, I put this candle um, out before and it bombed. It sold maybe like three of them. He said, and so the Lord brought it back to him. I don't know if it was, maybe this has been a year later or how, how long it's been mm. since he put it out the first time. He said, but, so I was scared to try it again. But I, you know, he was like, I guess the Holy Spirit brought it back to him. Like, mm. yeah, it's time. Put that back out. And he said he was a little fearful because it bombed the first time. He said, but even in that, he had to do it again. Yeah. Because he had to be obedient. Ah. Side note, obedience is better than sacrifice. He had to be obedient and do it. And so he put it, he put the candle out there, Johnny, and it literally sold out. And he had to restock. Yeah. Yeah. And so it may not be the time for something that first time. And I know it, it may have hurt your feelings, it hurt your pride, hurt your, you know, hurt everything in you because you, oh my gosh, it's going to do so well. And then it flops. Yeah. Some, then the Lord may circle around again at another time and say, not, not do that. Yeah. Do that now. Because he may not have even said to do it at that time when you first did it. But if he said do it again or do it now. Do it. And he did it and it sold out. Yeah. And he had to restock it. So the time Jay, might not have been right. That was a lesson. Thank you for sharing. Um, but again, nothing beats a failure but a try. Is that what it how it said? Why you always come up with these sayings and then you and look then, at And me. then to drag you into it. But it's my, say- my grandma and them used to say nothing beats a failure but a try. Nothing beats a try but a nothing something like that. Nothing beats a failure but a try. So at the end of the day, just do it like Johnny said. My said. wife and these. It's said. now or never. I got a lot of them. But you always looking at me like, what you say? Somebody now, else see, always not saying time, something. I didn't say that you, you said, said your it. grandmama. Right. But you know what I mean by the elephant mm-hmm. the, the, I, with the clothes mm-hmm. on it. But anyway. Granny, so yeah, granny, y'all. Y'all granny, do it. Granny Hell ain't going to come to you tonight. I ain't never said that to she, you. No. Shh. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna wake you up if she did. <sighs> so yeah, so that's 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 what we got, y'all. Happy New Year! We, it's it's we already in our New Year. You ain't got you ain't got nothing else, is it? Because you don't had you don't try to close I our know, church like I four know, times. I know the Lord is with me, and I love Him, right. and I got to be be obedient. Okay, to what He says. You right. Somebody, something that we've said is gonna help somebody mm-hmm. in this particular episode because they're gonna watch it on Saturday and go into their Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Write it down, make it plain, and then check it we off. Got some stuff we need as to you write do down. It. We've said it, but we got to write it down, and that will happen. Amen. So I'm done. Happy New Year to everybody, your whole family. Be safe. Yeah. Make great choices. Yeah. Starting right now. Yeah. And Lord we move bless over. and keep you. Make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Mm-hmm. She and in a preaching mood, y'all. Be and make. Just Uh-oh. abundant peace, love, and joy, and favor, and unity, and togetherness, and all the things of the kingdom be upon you. Jay, you should have bought your In organ. Jesus' name, amen. A- amen. amen. Now, this has been your man, Johnny Mobley Jr. Wait a minute. This has been Moments with the Mobleys. I am your man, Johnny Mobley Jr. Don't judge me. And I'm his wife, Dee. And we something like an ordinary couple. With extraordinary purpose. Peace out, y'all. Night, night, y'all.